to do stuff in my spare time, doesn't everybody? That's kind of a stupid thing to say. If you're a professional artist or you've ever had art classes, please don't judge me and my technique because I've never had an art class in my life. I'm just completely self-taught, so... I like to create fan art, which is basically just um, art based on popular TV shows, movies. Here it is. This first one I created, I made almost two years ago now. Um, it was while we were in the process of moving and I did it in a hotel room, sat on the floor um, with a lot of blue paint. And let's just say the only place I didn't get paint was on the walls. I literally had it all over their white sheets, on their carpet. I tried my best to hide it and cover it up and wipe, wipe it up, but for some reason I still made a big mess. Damn it! Okay, this one here has been badly cut um, into a frame, but this is um, Captain Jack from Doctor Who. And I painted it on Photoshop. This took me roughly 13 hours in total, and I basically made this because I was going to meet John Barrowman, and he signed it for me. I met him in March of this year, actually, and I actually gave him a print as well. So. That was really cool. He said it was awesome, so that was really exciting and it's so cool. Fangirl moment over, sorry. This is me when I met him back in March. Um, when I saw him, I was really kind of nervous and I walked up to him and he squeezed me really, really tight against him and said, come on, pretend like we like each other. This next one is a BBC show called Merlin. Now, if you've never heard of Merlin, I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix and honestly it's one of the most heartwarming, heartbreaking, amazing TV shows I've ever seen in my life. It is just, it's... Oh. It's Merlin and this one is Arthur. Merlin is a wizard and he comes to Camelot to be the servant of Arthur. Now, they don't get on at first. Merlin saves Arthur's life, he has magic, and in Camelot, magic is, unfortunately, punishable by death. So, Merlin, who becomes quick best friends with Arthur, even though they bicker a lot and Arthur's really mean to him, Merlin is his protector. And they have a real cool bromance going on. It's just, they become the best of friends, even though Arthur, again, is really mean to Merlin have to stick it out for about a season. You have to watch the first season, it's a bit slow going at first, but once you get into it you just can't stop and you just fall in love with the characters. I love it so much. This is just done with pencil and pastels. This took me about, about 18 hours in total and this is just the cavern uh, where Merlin meets the dragon. Um, it's where the dragon is chained up underneath the castle of Camelot done with pastels and took me about three hours or so. Now there are a couple of digital paintings that I've done which I don't actually physically have prints of right now uh, but I will show you the digital prints as an overlay in this clip. Basically the first one is David Tennant. This one took me about 21 hours, 19 or 21 hours, I can't remember exactly. Um, and this one I made about a year and a half, yeah about a year and a half ago and I made it for my best friend and only recently got it printed onto a canvas and although I don't have a canvas with me, I do have a clip, which I will insert now, of me holding the David Tennant canvas excitedly to show my other friend how excited I was. <laughs> my favourite characters from a show called Torchwood um, was Yanto Jones. Now Torchwood is actually an anagram for Doctor Who and it was made as a spin-off of Doctor Who. And Yanto Jones was the coffee boy and he was my absolute favourite. I just adored him. Which I can't actually seem to locate at this moment in time. When I went back to the UK in July this year, I went to the Yanto Jones Shrine in Cardiff and I was able to put the print up at the shrine and it was just, 
it was such an amazing experience and it was so fun. I just can't even, we went to the Doctor Who experience and we went to the shrine and it was so cool being able to hang up there. This one took me about 22 hours and it was quite a difficult one for me but I'm really glad that it turned out okay. There's a real huge pop culture t-shirt um, business out there and a lot of artists actually submit their designs and get them printed on t-shirts so I thought I would have a go at it and I came up with this design it's basically Sherlock Holmes meeting the doctor because this is this is you know this is pop culture and geek and you can make anything happen when you draw so this was this was really really fun this is basically Sherlock Holmes here and this is the Doctor wearing his fez and all the writing is basically Sherlock Holmes' way of deducing the Doctor. Um, if you watch Sherlock, which if you don't watch Sherlock, you need to put everything down right now and drop and watch Sherlock because this it, you'll love it no matter what kind of shows you like, whether you like sci-fi, drama, romance, you'll love Sherlock, it has everything. It's my first one. So I hope to improve a little bit more. It was kind of difficult limiting this to only six colours, so I need to work on that, and I will. I actually forgot one more thing. This isn't finished, but I started it. A Sherlock shoe. Um, it's basically the wallpaper, the yellow smiley face, his blue scarf, and then the Sherlock's lives. Sherlock lives. Ha Sherlock lives hashtag. And I do, did his wallpaper and his scarf and all that kind of thing. I didn't finish yet. These were old Converse shoes, so I probably won't ever finish these. But I have in the works got some other shoes that I've been painting. These are, I've painted this part so far. I've not really gotten very, very far at the moment. But I'm working on different mediums like shoes and shoes. That's it, basically. I don't have a lot, but it's a hobby that I really, really enjoy and I hope to do more of very, very soon, especially in the coming year. That's my new resolution to draw more. That was my resolution two years ago and last year as well. Bye.